Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to explain the best bang for your buck for gotcha rolls in Genshin Impact. So if you look at my screen here, um, I kind of calculated everything. Uh, so the first calculation is uh, the, the most basic one, uh, so one Genesis Crystal which is uh, the paid currency, uh, that is, you can trade that in for one Primo Gem. Uh, so it's a one-to-one -one trade. Uh, and then this next line, uh, you see 160, 160 Primo Gems gets you one pink fate. And I know there's a more official name for the fate, but I'm just calling it pink and blue because I always get confused. But the pink fates are for the event banners, which are typically, in my opinion, more focused. I don't, I don't want to say valuable. They're, they're definitely more focused, like uh, the current banner with Vainty. Um, that the five stars on that banner are only characters. So you should definitely pull on that banner if you want characters. Compared to the other banner that uses the blue fates, uh, there, there's some weapons thrown into the five star wins as well. So, you know, say you wanted a character, but and you get a five star pull, uh, there's a chance you might get a weapon instead. So, but you can see the pink fates and the blue fates are both 160 Primo gems. All right. So you're thinking about spending some money, and uh, you don't you want to know what, uh, how to get the best bang for your buck. So I listed them in uh, best deal to worst deal uh, from top to bottom, and the best deal is, um, and this is for getting characters. Um, and some of these options you, you get other stuff as well, um, but this is if you're just focused on getting characters. Um, and you want to get the best bang for your buck. So the first option that is the best deal is the Blessing of the Welcome Moon, which is a monthly card. Um, it costs $5, I believe. And um, be, and you get 3,000 Primo Gems for this, and if um, you divide 3,000 by 160, that equates to 18.75 gacha rolls. Um, and you get that for $5. Now. With this option, you have to make sure you log in every day so that you're getting the, all the Primo Gems as possible. So that's very important. And uh, that that comes out to about 20, or it comes out to 26 cents per roll. Uh, so you can see that's the cheapest you'll get for each gotcha roll. Now, if we look at the next option, the $10 Battle Pass, that one I believe has four fates, uh, which are locked at around level 5, 10, 15, 20, like at different increments. I forget which levels, but I think it's like four fates. And then if you finish the battle card, you get about 800 Primo Gems. I, I did the calculation uh, elsewhere. But, you know, combining the, the fates you get with the Primo Gems, that equates to 12.25 rolls. And uh, remember, you're paying $10 for all of that. But you have to remember to, this is, you only get all of this if you complete your battle pass all the way to level 50. So there's a chance, you know, if you forget to log in or something, or you, you know, you're not, you're not grinding on your battle pass, then you might miss out on some of this. So this is at best, uh, you will get, um, it'll cost you 82 cents per roll. And that's, you know, that's significantly higher compared to the Blessing of the Welcome Moon option. Uh, but at least it's not the worst. So let's go on to the next one. The next one is the uh, first time buyer bonus, and I can show you in the game what that what I'm talking about. Uh, so we go to shop, and then we go to uh, Crystal Taco. So if you buy the first time bonus, you will essentially get double the amount of crystals for that option, and you can do that for each option. Here you can see I bought the hundred dollar version. Um, but after you buy that first time bonus, you don't get double the amount of Genesis crystals, which are equal to Primo gems. You, um, you know, it'll go down to right here. The bonus is it's now 1600 instead of six, um, 6,480. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go back to the, the thing, the notes. So, you know, if you do that first time buyer bonus, then that comes out to about 80, 81 rolls for $100, and that equates to about $1.23 per roll. So, you know, that's 
it's a little misleading. That's not as good. Like this, this stuff is not as good as the Welkin Moon and the Battle Pass options. But you know, with this option, you're getting your crystals right away. And you can start rolling right, right away. And I mean, it's it's your choice, but it's not it's not the best cost effective option. Um, and then the next option is the crystal top off, no bonus. So actually, I'm not sure if you get a a, a bonus, like a, a decreased bonus for these. But um, you know, if you just bought crystals and you didn't get any bonus, then that would equate to 40.5 rolls for, uh, in the case if you bought the $100 one. So that's uh, $2.47 cents per roll, and that's, you know, that's pretty insane. I would not buy that. Um, yeah, so hopefully this explains some of the options, the best to worst. Um, you can see, like, with the monthly option, with the, the Blessing of the Welcome Moon, if they keep that offer up, then this is the most cost effective. You know, you just pay $5 a month, kind of like a monthly subscription, and you get the most bang for your buck for your gotcha rolls. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. So um, just, you know, be responsible, um, set a budget. Um, in my opinion, the it's this game's not that bad. Like, even if you don't get five-star characters, uh, the force, Four star characters are still pretty good. Uh, you can make them really strong um, and you can do really well. So, you know, just take it in stride. And hope that explained everything to you um, so you can make better purchases, purchasing decisions. And that's it. So, see ya.